Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the UCF Knights Dynasty. We are sitting here about halfway, at least almost halfway through the season, and we have a lot of games ahead of us here in the Big 12. And to start out the season, we are 7-3 and, and still top 25 in the country. We have a couple of new freshman starters who are really making an impact. Russell Rhodes is a sharpshooter and a pretty good scorer, but you can just see right away we are having some early season woes as we get blown out by Pittsburgh. We do beat UMES by 30, and then we end up bouncing back with another big game from Russell Rhodes, and we end up winning that one by over 20 points. Now, we go up against Oklahoma State here to start Big 12 play, and we end up beating them by eight points. But now we get to the big game because West Virginia won the conference last year. They ended up going to the national championship, and here we are facing off for the first time on their home court. So here we go. The freshmen, the three freshmen will be starting along with Austin Ball and Sam Hayes. I really like this lineup and they are led by Kobe Johnson who is one of the best players in the game right now so here we go on the road can we start out big 12 play with the bang and we lose the tip off as West Virginia starts out with the possession here and we always watch the first possession we have been a pretty good offensive team I want to see us step it up defensively here is a pass inside in the post and that's a nice move and a missed shot offensive board by West Virginia and they will be on the board first. Here is Russell Rose with the ball pass inside to Austin Ball, and that will get us the first bucket of the game. As the Knights have three really good freshman scorers, as here's a three taken from West Virginia, and that one is true. Five to two start. Here's Moses Miller on the inside trying to get to the basket. He gets ripped away on that one. As here he is on the defensive boards. Here is Justin Jones, the freshman. Number 27 was not available, so he took number four, and he pulls up in transition. We are an 8-2 and two team on the road. We are very good playing in other courts, and that is another bucket inside. And UCF takes the early two-point lead. Three-pointer missed by West Virginia. Here's an offensive board, and that one will be a foul on the freshman Moses Miller. As they go to the free throw line here, and they will knock down both, tying it up at seven apiece. Here's a pass inside to Miller. He gets right underneath the basket, and that's an easy bucket for him. Nine to seven start here for UCF. A couple of assists early on by Sam Hayes. Here they are working it around the perimeter. This time inside pass to West Virginia. It's blocked by Moses Miller, and they get it back and put it up. But Moses Miller showing off the defense so far. Here, tie ball game at 11 apiece. Justin Jones passes it over to the right wing. It's Sam Hayes handling the ball. He calls for the pick from Austin Ball. Pass out to the corner. It's Moses Miller. He cannot convert on that three. So still a tie ball game. Here's a tough take, and that is good. 13 to 11. We figure that this is going to go the distance the entire game. Here's a nice pass over to the right block. Miller is three for four from the field. Tie ball game once again. Here's a pass inside. This time to the seven feet one. Austin Ball, he puts it up with the left hand. He's more crafty than he is a banger down low. It's now a two-point lead here for UCF. A wild pass into traffic, and it somehow gets through to a Conquo. And they hit it here. He's got six points early on for West Virginia. Another pass inside, and Ball taking advantage of the size there. Both Ball and Moses Miller both have six points. Here is Rhodes from the outside. Now he's getting going. The lefty is such a smooth shooter. 20 to 15 game. Here's Miller now. Pass from to the outside. Jones, little triple threat move to the outside again. It's Sam Hayes for an open three, and that one will not be knocked down. Rebound by Aconquo. And here they go the other way. Quick ball movement. West Virginia gets a nice bucket inside. 20 to 17 game now. Three and a half minutes to go. Here's a three from Justin Jones. That one's off. A missed opportunity for an offensive board there. Here comes West Virginia the other way. In transition, a wild layup, and it somehow falls through. 
Acrobatic shot that time, and here's another three taken by West Virginia. That one's off. Another offensive board early in this game, and they just keep getting these second-chance opportunities as that puts Kobe Johnson on the free-throw line. He leads the team in assists. His first free throw is off, and the second one is going to be good. West Virginia so good at staying in games. That's why they went to the national championship last year. Here they go in transition, pushing it the other, other way as Kobe Johnson pass inside and a dunk over Nash Kolchek, and that one will give West Virginia the two-point lead. Here's a quick pass to the corner. Russell Rhodes answers his second three of the game. He's two of two from the field. Both shots taken from three in there. West Virginia, another pass inside. They're getting a lot of buckets right under the hoop. And that's Kelly. He's got six. Here's a three miss that time as they go the other way. West Virginia does inbound the ball here with about a minute and a half to go. Here's a shot here from the right block. This is going to be an up and under move in that one will be good. West Virginia with the three-point lead. They're on a little bit of a run here. Here's a pass to the post this time. Ball gets fouled. And now he will go to the free throw line. He does hit one of two. Seven points for ball. Here comes West Virginia the other way. In transition, nobody stops them. Getting to the basket. Four-point lead for West Virginia. Just under a minute to go. Trapping in the corner, pass inside, and a nice find. And West Virginia just continuing to attack inside. 30 to 34 now, here is Sam Hayes. Good move, getting all the way. Nobody's home in the paint. An easy layup for Hayes. And now with about under 30 seconds to go. Here's a pass inside, that one will be off. And we will get the last shot here with about 15 seconds to go. To go. Here's Benton who checks into the game here for the first time. Really this year getting significant playing time. Six seconds on the shot clock. Here is Sam Hayes getting a pick from ball. Looking to pull it up from three. And that one off the left rim. As UCF is down by four at halftime, we will see if we can keep up with West Virginia. They've been going on some runs here in this game. So it is a packed house here in West Virginia, and they already know UCF is up and coming. So here we go in the second half. We'll see if we can come up with some stops here on defense. West Virginia with the first missed shot of the game right there. Is here we go on offense, trying to start out this second half with a couple of good possessions. Here's a drive, Russell Rose, and he gets the bucket. The lefty is so crafty as he can shoot from the outside as we get two quick buckets here to open the second half. Here's a pass inside, and that one is good, and West Virginia takes the two-point lead here. It's going to go back and forth until the end for sure. Here was Hayes from the outside, fakes the shot. Moses Miller gets rejected. Back out to Justin Jones. He pulls up. That one is off. A good defensive possession right there from West Virginia. 32-30, and that is a big-time dunk. And West Virginia takes the 34-30 lead. They got the crowd into this one. Three, and that's Justin Jones from the corner. Quickly quieting the crowd right there. Is now down by one in possession. Justin Jones might be feeling it from the outside. We might be looking for a three, but we pass it inside. Moses Miller posting up. Open three from Sam Hayes. That's knocked down. 36-34 now. Is here they are working it around the perimeter. Here is a trap here, trying to get the steal. Pass to the outside. This is going to be Johnson. He answers back, and it's now a tie ball game. Quick three from Johnson again, and that one is good. 41 to 38. Here is Sam Hayes working around the perimeter to the corner. It's going to be Russell Rhodes. Back and forth, back and forth. And we both trade threes now. Here is Hayes now getting double teamed. Passing to the outside. Rhodes, and he knocks it down from the outside. And now it is a three-point lead. UCF in, in control now. But Kobe Johnson answering back with a tough drive. Now a one-point lead. Rhodes from the outside again, and he knocks it through. 47-43. to 43. Rhodes has hit four threes in this game. Is now here's a long pass inside. How does that get through? 
Another bucket right under the basket. 47-44. Five and a half minutes to go. This time, a pass inside is deflected. And here they go the other way at Conkle. Look at him hailing the point guard duties to the corner. That's a three. West Virginia takes the lead here. Five minutes to go. Looking for a pick and roll action. Here's Johnson to the big man. A shot from outside. But an offensive board by Akonkwo again. They are dominating us on the inside. Now down by three. Good pass inside. Russell Rhodes quieting this crowd a little bit. Stopping the momentum 50 to 49. Here they are running a play. Pass to the perimeter. Back over to Johnson. Johnson in traffic and a tough shot over Austin Ball. It's now a three point game. Moses Miller on the inside. He gets a tough look and he draws the double team and cannot get it to go. Three point game still in transition. Here is Russell Rhodes in a nice pass from Moses Miller. So West Virginia now looking like they might try to close this game out in the last three minutes. Here's a three from Akakwo. That's off, but skying for the offensive board again. West Virginia killing us with these second chance points. Here is Rose from the outside. Jab step, miss three, but Moses Miller on the offensive board. And we do get that one to go. It's still a one point game. Under three to go now. Johnson looking for the pick. He gets double teamed at the top. He will pass to the outside, back to the inside. A Conquo fade away too. That's off, but another board. And they get it to go. How many times is this going to happen? We are going to have to change something on the inside. Is West Virginia that dominant or what? Here's a three from the outside. Justin Jones all alone for the tie. And he cannot get that one to go. As here comes West Virginia the other way. Here's a three by Johnson. He knocks it through. Six point game here for West Virginia. Here's a pass inside. Back outside to jo Jones. He misses the three. So now 59-53, we need a big steal here or a stop. Here's a two and that is gonna be good. West Virginia continues to knock down shots here in the last two minutes. Rhodes from the outside, he hits one. And we're back down by six now, or five now. Because we need a nice possession here. No more buckets, because they've been killing us. Here's a drive to the baseline. And another two knocked down. This is getting ridiculous here. Austin Ball on the inside, back outside. Moses Miller, he can't hit the three. And now we're down by seven, 20 seconds to go now. We get the block, here we go in transition. Here's a three, Justin Jones, and he can't knock it down. Justin Jones had a chance to tie it. I think it was 56 to 53 at that point, and he could not knock down the three. I think that's where West Virginia started to pull away, and we just could not get anything to go there the last couple of possessions. And West Virginia pulls off the win. They end up getting the best of us in this game. Russell Rhodes had 22 points. He went off kind of in the second half. We were making sure we were being more selective with his shots. We know he can knock it down. He went eight of 10 from the field, six of eight from three. Justin Jones went cold at one point. He went two of nine from three. But hey, what can you do? There are gonna be games like this and I'm proud of these guys. These guys are a, a pretty young team. Just remember that Kobe Johnson had 18 points in this game. They had a lot of bench points also. Eric Kelly had 16 and nine off of the bench and Wilson had 11 as well. They had a big game from those guys coming in. So it looks like the next couple of games we actually did struggle, losing about three or four straight games and it looks like we are just that young team still adjusting to the chemistry here and games like this are not gonna win it. When Sam Hayes is our leading scorer, that is not a good sign. He had 23 versus Texas Tech in a blowout loss. We lost that one 101 to 71. We do end up recovering and winning a couple of conference games, but we are 13 and nine right now. We are at the bottom of the Big 12 at this point. Three and five in conference play. We are 13 and nine overall. We have a hard enough schedule to possibly get an at-large bid. That's what we're projected to do right now, but we can't rely on that going forward. 
So we'll see. The end of the season will be next episode, and then we will get into the conference tournament. I will have that probably all in one episode, so we'll see how that goes. But UCF adjust, adjusting. These growing pains are going to happen with such a young lineup. We'll see how we adjust. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the west side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride